And what is up, guys? I'm Storm Boss. Welcome to Doki Doki My Escape. Um, part 9, I want to say. I'm really enjoying this. I hope you guys are too. Um, I just say it's just let's continue where we left off. Um, it's just, I guess, a cliffhanger. Whatever. I would just get into it. Wake up, dummy. I slowly start tapping harder and harder until I get a response. Just jamming your finger on her arm. Just like. Hello? Huh? She begins to move without opening her eyes. It's me, Storm. They're waking you up. Huh. <sighs> He settles a little. What time is it? 10.30. Pretty late. Yeah, we slept in a little. He starts to smile a little bit. Why are you smiling? Oh, nothing. I'm just happy. Better be. Whoa. That gave me goosebumps. I don't know why. I mean... I knew that she was happy again, but going from her, it means so much to me. That's somehow... That somehow I managed to help her. You want to start working on the poster? Sure. In, a, in just a little bit. <laughs> okay. I guess I can go get everything ready while I wait for her to wake up. I'll be downstairs and getting everything ready. Okay. I slowly get up from the bed trying not to make too many blankets. Uh, trying not to take too many blankets off Natsuki. You should only have one blanket in your... Whatever. As I do, I walk downstairs into the living room. Alright. Where do I have some papers? Probably in one of these. I need, I need like a really big paper too. I think I have some in the garage. I walk into- You guys have paper in your garage? Gosh, it's dark in here. I don't think I even have a light switch either. How did I not notice until just now? Because you haven't been in there. Whatever. I need some paper. Right, what a coincidence. I assume that it's in the cabinet next to the door. I open it. I open the front door to it. Hmm. The longer I spend in there, the more my eyes adjust to the darkness. Ooh, there it is. There's a stack of colored construction paper. I only have orange, but I'm sure that's okay. I quickly grab the paper and walk out of the garage quickly. <laughs> it's like, nope, nope, nope. If Natsuki's here, then nope. If Natsuki was here, I probably would stay a little bit longer. <coughs> I'm sure just setting it on the coffee table will work. I move all the things to the side of, of a coffee table to make room for the paper. Now where do I have some pins? There's some in the kitchen drawer, I'm pretty sure. I go into the kitchen and start um, opening cupboards. Eh, uh, oh, here it is. I open one full of assorted colors, permanent pens, and markers. This should work. I'll put them down next to the paper. Alright. What else should I do? I don't know how long I have until she wakes up, but I guess I can make some coffee. Sometimes on the weekends I'll have some coffee in the morning. Hmm, maybe because you looked at the coffee table for too long. Maybe you should do it with Natsuki. You know what I mean. Oh, oops. 
Typically, I don't do it during the weekend because I never had to wake up in time. Hopefully, not too. likes coffee. If not, I don't think that I'll. They'll be a big enough deal. I walk over to my coffee maker. Man, this thing is cheap. <laughs> I'm not gonna make a joke. I guess that's a good thing if I don't use it every day. How do I even work this thing? Well, you see, there's a button on the on switch. You click that. Wait, why aren't we in the kitchen? I could actually put the coffee filter on the top and place ground coffee beans in there. Is this what I'm meant to do? <laughs> Torture. I close the lid and search for the button to press. Uh, start? The machine begins to make brewing sounds. Okay. I did it. At least I think. As I do, I hear what sounds to be footsteps upstairs. I glance over to the stairs and see Natsuki walking down to the stairs. There we go. Now we said beautiful. Good morning, beautiful. Good morning. What are you doing? I started to make some coffee and got some construction paper out of the... Oh, out that we could make bolsters with. Sorry, I screwed up that line. I hope that she doesn't respond with saying she doesn't like coffee. Aw, oh, that's nice. Oh, thank god. She starts walking over to the posters and opens a marker cap. What are you thinking? You want- oh, 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 I thought- I thought she was angry for a second. What- what are you thinking you want this poster to say? I don't know. I was hoping that you would have thought of that already. Hmm. How about, welcome to the literature club? Sure. Are we going to, like, half it outside the door? Yeah, for you, because you can't figure out where the literature club door was two days straight, or maybe even three. Yeah, it can be a poster, a welcoming sign to make good first impressions. That sounds great. Alright, start drawing some things out. She begins to work on the poster as the coffee machine starts to be, uh, how do I make it stop? I just press the button, I just press the start button again, and it seemed to do the trick. Is, is that how you actually work that? I've never used the coffee thing that he made. It's weird. Mm-hmm, okay. I open the cabinet and get mugs and pour out to, oh, I know what he's using, those actual coffee pot things, you know, where it's like, it looks like a coffee pot for a coffee pot. I open the cabinet to the mugs and pour out two mugs full of coffee. As I do, I pick them both up carefully and walk over to Natsuki. Hey yo! Ooh, yay! I set them on the corner of the coffee table that isn't being used. She immediately picks hers up and starts to take a drink out of it. Mm-hmm, that's good. You, you know how to do coffee, but you don't know how to bake cupcakes. I take a sip out of mine. Yeah, this is, this is good. I need to drink coffee more often and get addicted to it and become one of those dads, you know? Yeah, it is. Just trace the block letter with a black sharpie. So what do you want me to do? Uh... Watch. He start uh, just start coloring in the letters with random colors. Colors them all pink. Why'd you do that? Cause your hair and like your soul and you. <laughs> and if you can make them kind of. No. No. All right. No. No words, words, my guys. I start picking up markers and coloring in each letter with a different color. 
Me and Atsuki spend the rest of the morning making the poster look pretty. Alright, I think that's done. It looks good. I hope Yuri is okay with us doing this. I'm sure she's okay. Didn't you say that you thought she was going to get mad over something like this? Yeah, I just wanted to... I thought we were saying that. Were we not saying that? Well, I guess that makes two of us. I might as well try to defuse the situation. I can't imagine Yuri being mad at anything. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> She's too much of a sweetheart, guys. She's too much of a sweetheart. Even though you'd murder somebody if, like, we were dating. She's always happy. She's just like a... She just likes to stick herself and uh, reads and read books. I'm sorry. I asked that line. Yeah, she's more of a what a charity person. So what do you want to do with the poster before Monday? I mean, I guess we could just put it on the kitchen counter to make sure the, all the ink dries. That works. I pick, pick up the poster and carefully place it on the kitchen counter as not to get ink on anything. What time is it? I take in my phone and check the time. 2.30 p.m. We got a solid few hours until we need to go meet with the, uh, with the club members. I can't really think of it, think of anything else other than watch movies in the meantime and spend time with Natsuki, you know? Cause like, you, you live together. I'll go over to the couch and sit down to Natsuki and lay back. Let's watch something on TV while we wait for the meeting at 7. Okay, it sounds fun. He leans up against me and it's comfortable as I pick up the remote and start flipping through the channels. What do you want to watch? I keep scrolling through the channels. Ooh, go back. Manga, 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 whatever. The anime there. Where? Scroll up? That one. He points to a movie titled Safe Haven. I think that's a legit movie. Okay. It is a drama and fantasy movie PG-13 made in 2003 one hour 56 minutes oh god 13% on Rotten Tomatoes IBD 6.7 out of 10 um some person moves to a small town it's, it's pretty much romance it's, it's romance, that's what it is. The cover... Uh, the cover picture looks like it would be something out of a romantic movie. Yeah. It is. It's a normal situation, I would avoid a movie like this, but with Natsuki, yeah, I don't... I think it's okay. Better be. Alright. I click on the movie and start from the... Wait, and start it... I click on the movie and it starts from the start. Who says that? As it does, Natsuki leans back up in, in, into me. Oh, whoa. We get comfortable and snuggle into each other. Watch a movie. Yes. Freaking romantic. Movie ends. It's a happy ending. It's a happy ending where two main characters are. Uh, I don't know. After a long time without seeing each other. Oh my god! I just had a thought. What if that movie reflects on 
us. Like, that's what's gonna happen to us. Like, she's gonna move away. And then we're gonna finally see each other again. Typical plot for a romantic movie. Seems pretty okay. That was pretty good. Oh no, what's wrong? Are you okay? Yeah. She glances at me with the plate tear filled eyes. Oh, okay. She's trying because it was good or I I hope. Wow, that was sort of a weak ending for me, but must have hit something in that Suki. Mm-hmm. Embrace Natsuki more as she sobs gently. Bro, no. Don't cry. It just reminds me of us. Oh, that hit my heart. Oh, that hit hard. Well, I haven't thought of it that way. I guess it's kind of true. Y yeah. It kind of is. We hold each other on for a little longer until her stops until her stops quiet ow I just hit my elbow on a desk she lets go from our embrace and wipes her eyes <laughs> that was a little much sorry no no I understand why you're upset I try my best not to bring it up, but it's kind of hard <laughs> not to in this situation. Y yeah. Now I feel bad. Deep down, I was hoping that she wouldn't catch on to my mistake of bringing that up. Bringing what up? Her dad? I really don't know. I really don't want her thinking about it. I swear, I don't know what they're talking about. Did I read something wrong? Maybe them? As much as she's been through, sometimes you just need to erase things from your memory. Here's- I should start doing shower thoughts. Okay, here's the shower thought. Okay. You lose memories without even knowing it. Okay. There's the shower thought of the day. We should probably get ready to go to the meeting now. Yeah. You look so sad, my guys. Why are you sad? She stands up and goes upstairs. Uh, might have gotten her out of that, but there's going to be long-term emotional damage. Okay, so it's from the movie. And there's nothing I can really do for that other than love her. Okay, I don't think I really have to do anything to get ready except throw my jacket on. I'll just wait for her. I'm sure she won't take long. I want my phone out of my pocket to entertain myself while waiting. I hear the door from the bathroom open and seeing that to be walking back downstairs. Why do we even need to go to this anyway? Oh? I'm not sure Monica could have just checked on us through text if she really wanted to. Oh no. I'm getting bad vibes this episode now. Eh, whatever. She's kind of controlling and likes things to be done her way. True. I guess that makes for a good a good leader then. Yeah. He doesn't want to go. We already know that. Yeah, alright. Let's head out. He walks outside. Still, forgot to grab a jacket. Good thing I have two of them. I grab both 
jackets and exit the door. Every t uh, yesterday I watched, um, I go RARS, or I go RAR, um, last episode of Exit Music, guys, and I freaking cried. It was incredibly sad. I'll link his, um, uh, channel in the description. Shout out to you, man. Hope you, um, surpass 1k subs. He's really good. He does pretty much only Doki Doki. He has a, tw uh, not a Twitter. He has a Twitch that he streams on besides Mondays and Tuesdays, I think. Mondays, Tuesdays, or Mondays and Wednesdays. I don't know. I know one of them is Monday. He doesn't stream for two days out of the week, so. As I walk up to Natsuki, I grab her hand and we start walking towards the library. Hmm? I don't know if Natsuki remembers where the library is from when we were kids. What? So I'll probably have to guide her. What? There it is. I point towards the library in the distance after few, after walking for a few minutes. Oh yeah! I don't see any of those girls yet. They must be inside. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they got here on time. They're all probably pretty good about doing that, except for you. Heh. <laughs> <laughs> we both walk into the library. As we do, we see both. As we both see Monica, Sari, and Yuri sitting at a table on the other side of the room. Why is it dark? Oh, wait. Still holding hands. Oh, no. Um, they didn't see us, don't worry guys. I can't just like, go, oh, that'll seem weird. Uh, Monica glances at us and smiles. Well, there goes keeping the secret. And Suki doesn't seem to be pleased by it. Probably for the best, it's not good to hide a re relationship from people. Hmm. Hmm. Should I take that into consideration? We both continue walking over to the T1 sit down in the two seats left next to each other. <gasps> did they do that on purpose? Oh my god, if they did, they're so nice. As we do, there's a few seconds of silence as everybody looks at us. Uh oh. Hey, you two. I knew that you were lovebirds. Ah, oh. ah, you guessed it. I mean, I'm happy that you're right. I'm happy that you're right because, like, you tried to commit suicide in like the fifth episode of this. Heh, <laughs> heh, son of a. Then now you two were dating. Oh wow! Hold up. They actually changed Monica. I swear, if that's from TikTok, I'm going to murder her. E yeah. We started dating a few days ago. Sorry for not letting you guys know. <sighs> Whatever. Nerds. Eh. Yeah, she's mad, I think. Well, I'm happy for you two. What have you done f to help the festival? We finished making the cupcakes and got bored, so we ended up making a welcome sign for the front of the classroom. I hear a deep sigh Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? We- What? What? 
I thought you wouldn't be mad. We were helping you. That's her problem. He was gonna do it, my guy. And I... Oh. Oh. She seems like she's been on the edge the whole time we were here. Oh, I swear to God, if you do the same thing that you did in Exit Music. I thought that was my job. It, it was. We just thought that we could help out for a little more consideration. We didn't have to do any... Oh, we didn't have anything else to do. Okay. Um, this is really awkward. Well, okay then. Thank you. Uh, thanks for your... Holy crap, I can't read. Thanks for your help, you two. Much appreciated. Doesn't seem like it. Mm-hmm. Oh, God, it's hard to be here. How did we not know this was coming? Because... We didn't think of Sayuri. I mean, not sorry, sorry. We didn't think of Yuri being here. So... What about you, Yuri? What have you done? Well, I mixed together some essential oils to make a new scent and have... Stringers... That we could hang from the ceiling. To really make the atmosphere. Also, I have a bunch of different candles that we can light too during the specific speeches. I can't say that word. I've never been able to say that word. Maybe by accident, but other than that, nope. But it seems like... But it doesn't seem like it matters because my job has been done for me for these. Oh my god. Yuri, we try to help you. I'm sorry. We're the bad guy in this situation, yes, but chill out. Yuri, what's the problem? You seem like you're angry. What's going on? Nah, no, she's just a little upset. She's just sad because you took her freaking job. I try to de-escalate this situation. I'm not telling you. What are we, nine? We're... We're going to gossip now? I resist myself from speaking as to not set off your any more than she already is. So what have you done, sorry? Hmm. What's hanging, bro? You get it? You get it? Screw your name. Nobody cares about your name. Sayori. Sayori. There we go. What have you been up to, Sari? Behind the scenes. Well, we, we've been planning on the school to make sure that we can do it. What does that mean? And got some people lined up in order to present their poems that they brought to the club. I think after this, we're going to have a lot more fun. A lot more fun people in the club. No, we. I don't. I have to be with MC on this one. I don't want any more people in the club. I probably sound really selfish all of a sudden. I probably am. But I really don't want anybody else in the club right now. I just don't. Even Sari seems like she is disturbed by Yuri's behavior and Yuri's all here just just smile and like oh yeah look at me yeah I mean she's doing her best to maintain normally because it's not doing a good doing good what
Sorry, I had a yawn. <laughs> Yuri's, Yuri been being the bad. Oh my God, you're being the person that really likes to set the atmosphere. Really has set a bad one during this meeting. Yeah, we've been pretty busy trying to make sure that everything lines up correctly. But you guys had to mess it up, so I'm gonna have to delete Natsuki now. Yeah, that was condescending. I swear if I said that right. I don't even know what that means. I'm going to the bathroom real quick. Be right back. She stands up from my side and goes to the bathroom. I'm not even sure if she needs to go or if she's just trying to get away from how uncomfortable this is. I don't blame her either. Hey Storm, oh my god. If they ask me any questions about here, I'm about to slap them. How have you been? Eh, good, but I I just don't know why you're aggressive right now. Oh, well, don't worry about that. Everything will be okay in the end. That's what they all say, but you know. Um, is she really flirting with me? You're doing the same thing you did in... <sighs> You're doing the same thing you did in, um, what's it called? Exit music right now, but like a little bit nicer. I actually never played exit music. I just watched it. Wait. I just realized that she's probably... No crap. Wow, that's a lot that she would be so rude over that me and Natsuki did together. Are you jealous of us? Uh, you see silent for a second and looks into my eyes. No, honey. I'm not. I'm proud. You're jealous. You're jealous. Okay, I think that's a good meeting for tonight. I just noticed that it looks like they're holding hands, but like, really weird. I see you- I'll see you all on Monday after school for the festival. That's like a plan, Monica. She stands up, rubs my shoulder and passes by me on the exit like, is she actually trying to flirt with us right now? Wow, that was strange. Okay, I'll see you guys later. Thanks, Monica, for the meeting. Yeah, sorry, it kind of turned sour towards the end there. No, it's totally fine. You couldn't really control it. I hear the door to the bathroom open, and I see Natsuki walk out. I follow... I walk towards the door to the library, and gesture for Natsuki to follow me. She glances towards the table and sees that Yuri is gone, and continues following me outside. God. She grabs my hand and gets close to me as we walk home. What's wrong? You know how Yuri was acting really weird? Yeah? After you left, she tried starting to flirt with me. We need beef. I've, I've, I've never said this. I've never liked this meme. But right now, we need beef, Suki. Right now. We need her. You know how, um, in Avengers, the Hulk, right? I forgot his name. I'm not a big Marvel fan. Most of you are going to kill me if you see this. Um, but he's like, he's like her, but like, and then changes into the Hulk, and she changes into Bisuki. Who would win? The Hulk or Bisuki? Whoa. That's strange. It kind of dis- it's kind of disgusting. Discussing that when she sees a chance to ruin us, she'll take it. Yeah, that's horrible. I didn't really expect her to be so mad at us. I thought she was going to be mad about us taking her job, but I guess it was a little deeper than that. It was love. Yeah, me too. Knowing Yuri, 
too that doesn't seem like her at all. Yes, it does. Oh no, because we didn't get to, um, she never confessed her love to us. Because this isn't literature club. Like, you freaking stabbed yourself. Rolled clip. We both continue walking home, talking about how the meeting went. We both arrived back at my living room for the night. Uh, that was a lot to deal with. Wanna just sleep together on the couch for tonight? Yeah, that sounds good. We both lay down on the couch and put some quiet TV on. Hmm. And Tiki starts to cuddle me intentionally. Oh? Eh. That's, that's adorable. Please, no heartbeats? No scary things? Okay, thank god. Alright guys, that's gonna be it for this episode. It's already 36 minutes long. I'm trying to make these as short as possible now. But there's nothing I can really cut out. So yeah. Um, I'll see you in the next one. I hope you have a great day. There's probably gonna be another upload. Trust me, there's gonna be another upload today of this. Yeah. Peace guys.